What's up guys? Today we are taking a look at the Orbitz drink from the 90s. They were out by 1996 and discontinued by 1998. And there were five flavors altogether. And this flavor in particular, I have six bottles of the same flavor. This is Blueberry Melon Strawberry. Let's take a look here. So as you see, there it reads Blueberry Melon Strawberry, how they printed it out was kind of funky melon is upside down and for those of you that don't know what orbits was is basically a non-carbonated flavored water and inside of the water were these floating balls that were made of gallon gum and they were kind of like jello you know just floating around and they would just stay suspended within the water and just shake it up let's just shake this up shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it, shake it up and yeah, they don't sink, they don't float, they stay exactly where they are. Very weird. But, as you can see, one of these things are not like the other. This one, for some reason, all the balls have sunk to the bottom. I don't know why the cap isn't tampered with in any way, shape, or form. Um, when you do shake it up a little bit, it will stay for a, uh, a bit of time suspended as it should. But eventually they will um, start sinking again. So as it reads right here, natural fruit flavored beverage, 300 milliliters, 10.14 fluid ounces. On the back here, it had 130 calories, 33 grams of carbs, 30 grams of sugar, and it is bottled under the authority of the Clearly Canadian Beverage Corporation, Vancouver, Canada. And Orbits.com, their website back in the day. The ingredients were water, high fructose corn syrup, sugar, natural flavor, citric acid, gallon gum, sodium citrate, xanthan gum, and color is added. Now, if you want to take a look at this flavor, this is blueberry, melon, strawberry. How they had the flavors in here was the water itself was blueberry and melon flavor, and the bits was where you got the strawberry flavor. So, yeah, part of the flavor would be within the uh, jello, whatever floating bits in here. The drink with balls, as some people call it. That was never their official advertising slogan, but it should have been. But Anyways, another crazy thing about what I have here is that these bottles, these three right here, kind of don't look like these. There is a reason for that. These three are from the original release from 1996. These are later releases. Now, how, how could you tell? Well, the labeling here is a bit faded. They're not as vibrant of colors as to here. They're far more uh, vivid, brighter, saturated. The blues, it went from like a sky blue here to almost like a teal or a turquoise. And the orb itself on the label uh, is definitely far more orangish, pinker, reddish, however you want to call it. The other thing is you, you could definitely tell is because on the bottom of these bottles, they're not embossed with anything. There is nothing at the bottom besides maybe a few of these dots. But on these new ones, they have their website embossed onto it. And that's what later releases of Orbitz had on the bottom of their bottles was the website compared to the first release. Also, if you want to dig very, very deep, you can kind of tell that the bits in the original release are far more larger than the bits in the later release, but there are more bits in the later release compared to the first release here. Now let's just take a second to look and admire this drink. It's just mesmerizing.
It's almost as if you are in an asteroid field or something. It's just crazy. Now the original caps read Defy Gravity Orbits and it has the website. It also has the website on the side of the cap as well. Now when you look at these caps, you realize not all of them are silver. There is this black cap and this blue cap. Well, the story behind that, the reason why those are the way they are, is by 1997, the company that made Orbits, clearly Canadian, they were having trouble trying to sell these, get them off the shelves. So their idea was to have some promotions, cross-tying it with other brands and music and video games. And they're a media kind of thing. They're targeting the young kids. So what do you think about young kids in the 90s? Video games. They were all about video games. Them kids and them video games. So this one is a promotion for the Independence Day video game from the movie. So you had to get 10 bottle caps, these special bottle caps, mail them in, and you would get a $10 mail-in rebate for the Independence Day video game, which I'm sure was like 50 bucks. So you had to buy 10 Orbitz drinks, mail in these bottle caps to get $10 off, which I think at the time, a bottle of this from the 90s was like a buck 30. So stupid. And I'm sure that video game didn't do well. I think it was available for the PlayStation and possibly the Sega Saturn at the time. That was the reason why this is given a special black cap. It was for the Independence Day video game promotion. And here's what it looks like from the sides. Product of Canada, Orbits.com. $10 mail-in rebate with purchase of ID4 video game and Orbits. Now, this blue cap here was for promotion for a CD. And this was basically a bunch of artists from Canada, from what I was able to dig and find about the CD. And I got a playlist on the YouTube channel from most of the songs that were on the CD. And if you listen to that, uh, it definitely sucks. It was absolutely horrible. I've been trying to find the actual CD if, from a reseller or something on eBay, but none of them have come up. So that is kind of like a big collector's item thing I have on my list that I would love to track down at some point. Under this cap, there was an offer for more details on how you get this exclusive 15-track CD and a t-shirt for only $9.99 plus shipping and handling. Which, at this point, that's kind of a steal, you know, to get some exclusive stuff. Especially just to get a t-shirt. That's a good deal. So on the side it says, New Music CD and T-shirt offer, Orbits.com, product of Canada. Now, that is not the only thing that is special about this bottle. If you look on here, yes, it reads in both... English and in French because this is a Canadian bottle of Orbitz. Maybe that's why this is sinking. It's a Canadian version. I don't know. But you could definitely tell from the label here. It only says English here. There's English and French right there. And there's the difference on the back. And on here there is another sticker with additional nutrition facts as well. So anyways, that is your deep dive, a, a super deep dive into the Orbitz flavor, Blueberry Melon Strawberry. This is the second flavor I am going over thoroughly. The next flavor, we are going into a big doozy of a flavor. This is going to be, it's going to be the flavor Pineapple Banana Cherry Coconut. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video.